Stress and Emergency Signals How are the exchanges of signals integrated in the general coordination plan of organs? Let us take the case of the interface between the brain and the hormonal system, a field of study called neuroendocrinology. This has traditionally been a well-studied discipline in France. It was a Frenchman, Jacques Benoit, professor at the College de France, who, at the same time as the British neuroendocrinologist Geoffrey Harris, yet independently of him, described for the first time in the early 1950s the interaction between specialized neurons situated in the hypothalamus at the base of the brain and the pituitary, an endocrine gland, often referred to as the master gland. The relationship between these two structures contributes to the maintenance of hormonal homeostasis and to the adaptation of the body's autonomic functions to changes in its environment through hormones that act as regulators of many organs. And that is stress and emergency signals. Have a great day.